हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस व्हाट आर द फजी ऑपरेशंस लाइक व्हाट आर यूनियन व्हाट इज इंटरसेक्शन एंड व्हाट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट विद द एग्जांपल नाउ हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट आर द फजी कॉम्पोजिशन एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ फजी कॉम्पोजिशन वी विल आल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन एग्जांपल सो यू विल गेट द बेसिक डिटेल्स हाउ टू सॉल्व द फजी कॉम्पोजिशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट Now, what is fuzzy composition? The composition of fuzzy relation is defined over two fuzzy relation. That so we require here two fuzzy relation. Now, it's similar to the Cripps binary relationship only, but we need two relations that is x and y, and it represent by a third matrix or third fuzzy relation. that is on y into z and it define or finally it gives a result in the fuzzy relationship on x into z now this fuzzy composition can be done by two ways that is max min composition now it define as t is equal to r into x s now r and x are given matrix you can also represent it as mutation of t x z now why x z because we are the final t that is max min composition can be represent into x and z relationship that is x row and z column now let understand it with the example the question may be asked find the resulting relationship t which relates element and it define the cartesian product x into z now we know that the composition can be defined by two way max min composition and second is the max product composition now here in this video we are going to solve the first composition that is max min composition now here we define the three relationship x x1 x2 y and z that is z1 z2 and z3 now the relationship is present into form of matrix the r matrix having the row x1 and column y1 y2 and the s matrix that is the second matrix y1 row y2 row z1 column z2 and z3 column now the r matrix is represent by 2 by 2 and it's 2 by 3 now while we are performing max minimum com composition we generate the third matrix that is it represent by t that is x with z or x into z now the new max min composition relation matrix becomes 2 by 3 and it represent as a x1 x2 row z1 z2 z3 column and it is represent by t now let understand it with the example now we know that the max min composition t represent mu mutation of t x and z now how we are going to perform it by the formula now here we are going to consider the row and column that is the first row first column again first row second column first row and third column so similarly here the first value that is mutation of t x1 z1 now is equal to max of now this is the max min composition so first of all we are going to calculate all minimum value inside the bracket and then we are going to find the maximum value so minimum of each element that is here from r we are select the first element that is first row and first first row first row element is the 0.7 x1 y1 similarly first column from this s that is y1 z1 y1 z1 again same row that is first row second element x1 y2 and first column second element y2 
जेड वन नाउ हियर मैक्स ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील कैलक्युलेटिंग द मिनिमम वैल्यू दैट इज फ्रॉम दिस फर्स्ट एलिमेंट फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट एलिमेंट जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एंड फ्रॉम दिस कॉलम फर्स्ट कॉलम द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट जीरो पॉइंट एट सो जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एंड जीरो पॉइंट एट नाउ फ्रॉम दिस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एंड जीरो पॉइंट एट द मिनिमम वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सो आई सिलेक्टेड जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फ्रॉम दिस टू एलिमेंट नाउ अगेन सिमिलरली फर्स्ट रो बट द सेकेंड एलिमेंट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एंड द फर्स्ट कॉलम एंड आई सिलेक्टेड द सेकेंड एलिमेंट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एंड जीरो पॉइंट वन सो फ्रॉम दिस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो पॉइंट वन इज द मिनिमम वैल्यू सो आई सिलेक्टेड इन जीरो पॉइंट वन सो फ्रॉम दिस वी एन अगेन सो दिस इज द मिनिमम वैल्यू वी सॉल्व द इंटरनल ब्रैकेट नाउ द फ्रॉम दिस टू वैल्यू द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज द जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सो आई सिलेक्टेड जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एंड विच वील गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट इन अवर थर्ड मैट्रिक्स जेड वन एक्स वन जेड वन दैट इज म्यूटेशन ऑफ एक्स वन जेड वन इज नथिंग बट द जीरो पॉइंट सेवन नाउ सिमिलरली वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द फर्स्ट रो विथ द सेकेंड कॉलम now the first row that is x1 and the second column z2 so here i represent z2 x1 z2 so maximum of again the first row element 0.7 that is x1 y1 and the first element of second column that is y1 z2 again the second element of first row y2 that is x1 y2 and the second column element that is y2 z2 now here you can see the 0.7 and 0.5 the minimum value is the 0.5 so i selected 0.5 again 0.6 0.6 and selected 0.6 now maximum from this is the 0.6 so i represent into the matrix that is 0.6 Now similarly, we have to find the first row and third column. Now here, the first row x one and third column z three. You can represent it by mutation of t x one z three. Now the first row element zero point seven and the first element zero point four. Now from this zero point four is the minimum, so I return zero point four. Again. The zero point six to zero point seven, I compare it, and minimum value zero point six. Now the maximum value from this is the zero point six, so we represent it into the matrix x one z three zero point six. Similarly, we are going to repeat for the second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, and third column. Now here you can see x two z one. X two that is second column and Z one is the first column. Now here the first element is the zero point eight and the first element zero point eight. The minimum value is zero point eight. Again zero point three and zero point one. The minimum value is zero point one, but the maximum value is zero point eight. So I represent in matrix that is zero point eight. Now it's now the second row and the second column. That is zero point eight and zero point five. The minimum value is zero point five. Zero point three and the second column element is the zero point six. And the minimum value is zero point three and the maximum value from this is the zero point five. So I represent here zero point five. Now. Now I repeat. The same for for second row and the third column. Now we can see here zero point eight and zero point four. The minimum value is the zero point four. Zero point three, zero point seven. The minimum value is zero point three and the maximum value is zero point four. So I represent here zero point four. So this is called as a maximum composition and it represent by a third matrix T with x one and z. so this is called maximum composition it represent by a t matrix x1 
रो एंड एक्स टू रो जेड वन जेड टू जेड थ्री कॉलम दैट इज एक्स इन टू जेड मैट्रिक्स